Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Welcome, wildlings. Tonight's story, The Stranger Ritual. You ever hear of The Stranger Ritual? No? Well, perhaps that's good. Perhaps you're safer not knowing, and perhaps I shouldn't tell you, seeing as how it can be a little dangerous. Still want to know? Oh, very well, I'll tell you. The Stranger Ritual is obviously a ritual that allows you to contact something from outside, something beyond the limits of human understanding. Some say that the ritual allows you to contact death itself. Now, in order to perform it, you'll need a few things. First, you'll need a door, preferably wooden. Uh, it cannot have any windows or peep holes in it, and it must have a lock. Next, you'll need two candles, one white and one black. Then, you'll need a gift. It's important that the gift not be something you have a personal connection to. It's advised that you offer something you've bought on that day. Candy seems a wise choice. Then you'll need a piece of chalk or some other writing instrument. Chalk is probably your best choice. Finally, you will need a photograph of another person. It has to be one that you've taken yourself and the more recent, the better. It can't be a photo of anyone from your immediate family. You'll need to wait till night falls before you do the ritual, and although it can be done any time of night, it's more likely to succeed the closer it is to midnight. Write the word stranger on the door that you're using, then place the two candles either side of the door frame and light them. Now. Make sure all the curtains in the house are pulled, all the windows are closed, all the mirrors are covered, and all the lights are turned off. You must also be alone in the house to do this successfully. Stand in front of the door and place your gift just out of the range of the door so that when it opens it won't hit or knock the gift over. This will also mark your safe zone. Make sure that the door is closed then knock three times, no more, no less, then wait. If you hear three knocks coming from the other side of the door, then the ritual was successful. Open the door, but not fully, and don't look outside. Open it just a little, and then turn around and stand behind your gift, facing away from the door. You should hear the door open fully and you'll feel the stranger's presence. It'll feel wrong, like something that isn't supposed to be there. Stay calm. The stranger's your guest, so you will not be harmed. Under no circumstances must you turn around or look at the stranger. This is important. Some have dared look at the stranger, and the ones that survive go completely blind or completely insane or both, but they always say that the stranger's presence never fully goes away. If you look at the stranger, then the stranger will never leave. If the entity approves of your gift, it will ask you for a name. This is when you must look at the photo and say the name of the person in it. Then wait until you hear the door close. Once the door is closed and you no longer feel the stranger's presence, you may turn around. If the ritual was successful, your gift should be gone. Then you must lock the door. Do not unlock it until sunrise. This will prevent you from entering the stranger's world and anything from there getting into this one. You must also wipe the word stranger from the door and burn the photo that you used. If you're too frightened to complete the ritual, simply apologize and ask the stranger to leave. When you hear the door close, then turn around. Wipe the word stranger from the door and lock it. Do not unlock it until sunrise. Should you do this, 
never attempt the ritual again, as the stranger will not be happy. Over the next three days, check the obituaries. If the ritual was successful, the person whose name you gave to the stranger will die. Although there's no consistent cause of death, heart attack seems to be one of the more common causes. It's important to make sure that the photo you used has been burned. If it has not been burned by the time the victim has died, then the image will fade. And in its place, an image of you will appear. This will be a sign that you will die within three days. See kids, I like rituals that involve a little bit of common sense, and this one does. Stay scary, my wildlings. If you're not sure you want to do it, don't fucking do it, and make the most of your nights.